In today's video, I'm gonna show you on this Golf 8 how to activate the lane assist memory function so it saves your last setting uh, using VCDS. Hi guys, um, another how-to video for you today. We are working on a 21 plate Golf 8 all track um, estate vehicle. Now this vehicle, uh, the customer has lane assist with it, but they don't really get on too well with it because um, it keeps activating where they live and they want to be able to have a memory function on the system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly show you what the process that is happening. So even though we're doing it on the Golf 8, in terms of the, the settings and the changes, I think, I believe, um, the process that we're going to be following with the computer in a minute is going to be the exact same process. So what we're going to do is just to show you the problem. We'll start the car, and as mentioned, uh, it's got lane assist. So the lane assist button is just here. What you have to do is each time this customer is getting in the car, they keep having to follow this process, and it's getting a bit boring for them. So what we're doing is you push it, that comes up as lane assist, hit the OK button, then it's done. And so then it's how they want it to behave and work and all this sort of stuff. Then what is happening is turning the engine off, getting out of the car, no problems, start the car again, put down, and we go to push the lane assist button again, and there you go. It's it's reactivated itself. So in theory, once we've done this coding change, it will remember the last state that it was left in so that you don't have to keep doing it um, each time you get into the vehicle, whether it be can you keep it on, keep it off, however you want to do it. Now, I have to thank um, Al, uh, Andy at Audi Upgrades for this one um, because it's one of his customers that he's referred, given us the info on how to do it um, because they live a bit closer to us. Um, top guy, I'll try and tag him into the video below um, but yeah, what we'll do is we'll do some screen recordings of doing the work and then we'll jump back in and show you um, that it saved it. So stay tuned. One little bit that I forgot to mention because I know people will say it is even though I'm doing this on the Golf 8, I believe the coding should be on the same on other vehicles um, that have this lane assist function if you want to activate the memory function. I'll show it properly using the screen recording software in a second, but just a disclaimer, um, try and see if you can see these settings where I show you in a moment and I'll talk about it, but it may not work for your car. This is on a Golf 8 that we're trying it on that we've been told it should work. Um, go and see if it works on yours, but it might not work. So just bear that in mind before you try. But if it does work, make sure you let me know in the comments below of what vehicles um, you've tried it in and then we can update it. So stay tuned for the screen recording. Right, so first up, you need to load up VCDS. We're currently using version 21.9. Um, so wait for the modules to load up and then you're looking for the A5 front sensor driver assist module. Um, click long coding. Uh, what you will have to make sure you do, if depending on the certain vehicles, is you have to make sure that the bonnet is open for the firewall to deactivate. I always recommend that you copy your long coding before you go in there. So there you go, just drop it into a Word document. We're going long coding helper and then yes to experimental coding. You're then gonna scroll along to byte nine. And then it's the top one, bit zero to one, and it's currently unactivated, and we're gonna set it to last setting. Click that, exit, do it, yes. Coding accepted, done and dusted. And uh, yeah, that's it. Then we'll go into the next step. Right then guys, so you've just watched me doing the coding using VCDS. Hopefully it was relatively straightforward. Obviously remember you've got to have your bonnet open um, and you've got to go into long experimental coding. So you've got to have the most up-to-date VCDS running. You can probably follow the same logic in OBD11 and Carista, but obviously if you're doing it properly, try and use VCDS where you can. So what we're gonna do is, we've just, just to show you where we're at with it now, lane assist button. So uh, it's active at the moment. So what we're gonna do, untick it, button disappears. So like before, we're gonna shut down the engine, which is what the trigger is for um, reactivating that lane assist uh, memory function type stuff. So what we'll do, engine off, open door, close door, just to let it have a quick shutdown. Get back in, 
start give it a second just to sort itself out and then what we're going to do is push that button again and there you go lane assist is currently deactivated which is the last um mode that we left it in before we shut down the engine we've done an engine cycle which would trigger that lane assist to reactivate under the old mode um and yeah so you've got that function there to be able to give you your last memory or sorry your last function of your lane assist whether you want to keep it on and i'll prove the point okay that's turned it on get rid of it engine off get out of the car get back in start the car starts up again lane assist and there you go it's remembered the last state that we left in so for this customer i'm going to leave it off so when they come back they can see that it is working how it should do so um you've got the instructions on how to do it yourself which is golden if you're not too with it or you're not too sorry not too up and with it with a vcds or coding or just not confident in doing it then you can come down to us and we can do this here for you uh we're based in paul and dorset as you probably know um hopefully you found this how to useful another one useful it's our way of giving something back as and when we can obviously we're a business we have to charge for what we do um so that's just how it goes sometimes um so yeah free information for you there or you've got the option to come down and pay us to do it for you it's not too much um as always thanks for watching um hope you enjoyed the video oh yeah one last thing again if you try this in a different vehicle that's not a golf 8 and it works for you just drop down into the comments what you've tried um and if the coding is the same or different and the end result that'd be awesome just then we can update it um on the video and stuff like that and as always Thanks for watching.